Also developing, a man is dead after police say he was targeted by gunmen. And tonight, several people have been detained in Local 10's Terrell Fournay, live now in Northeast Miami-Dade, with the investigation. Terrell. And this homicide investigation is playing out in this two-story, multi-use office building here in Northeast Miami-Dade. Several businesses operate out of here, but that crime happened in a nail shop. They said it was a shooting that occurred inside the nail shop. On the second floor of this office building, gunfire as two violent men targeted a customer. I'm worried about my staff. I'm worried about everybody else and also the children that's there. Venice Danda owns a medical practice in the very same multi-office building that quickly shifted into a crime scene. There's a lot of people stuck. I even have um, some staff stuck, some patients stuck. I have some patients waiting over here in the parking. The shooting victim was killed after the altercation with the gunman. Those suspects then fled in a white Mercedes. Officers sealed off the entire complex on Ives Dairy Road and Northeast 2nd Avenue. The business was open. Uh, there were employees inside of the business, which were thankful that the, we didn't have more people injured. Sky 10 was over the scene after the incident. One woman appeared to be in obvious grief while being consoled outside of the building. But at one point, she takes off, darting through the crime scene in an attempt to get to the body on the second floor. Police stopped her and eventually placed that woman into handcuffs, one of two people who would end up in cuffs here. At this point, we have nobody in custody. We have several people that have been detained. Among the other businesses, a children's daycare. Parents rushed over to grab their kids after getting an urgent alert from the school. There's an emergency. There's a shooting that parents need to come pick up their child, you know, um, as soon as possible. I'm like, wow, I hope it's not my child. So again, no injuries to report here. You can see those officers and detectives going over the crime scene here at this two story office building. We can tell you that the search is still on for those gunmen who were last seen wearing dark colored clothing and then speeding away in that uh, white Mercedes. We do know that the manhunt is still underway, but detectives are putting out that information that if perhaps someone was in this area around 315 in the afternoon who may have seen a vehicle at a high rate of speed driving erratically to pick up the phone and give them a call or perhaps Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers. We are live in Northeast Miami-Dade, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.